What's up guys, Odie Boy here, um, also known as It's Insane, that is my Xbox Live Gamer Tag. Um, today I am going to be, I guess, giving a little bit of a review about Homefront. Um, I know that earlier in the week I kind of talked about this game a little bit, but in this game I kind of want to review it, you know, give you guys a little bit of a rundown, which will probably deter you from getting this game just because of, you know, some of the real, real big shit that happens. Like if you notice right there, if you notice maybe about 10 seconds ago, I just spawned. And I'm already getting shot at, so that's that's so that's that's a little something that's you can tell where the people who played this game came from. I rarely see people who, yeah, when I check the compare games thing on Xbox Live, I never see people who come from Battlefield. They've always come from Call of Duty, and the biggest game is, of course, Black Ops. So that's one thing that I really don't like so far. That and the last week since this game came out, they've had nothing but server problems. So, like, it's, it's just a pain in the ass to connect the games. It's not lag like EA's bullshit where their fucking servers crashed on Battlefield for a week. No, that's not it. It's just you can't even get into games on this. At least in Bad Company, everybody lagged, and it was always at the same time, so it was just annoying. In this game, it's just, it pisses you off because, you know, why, why would you pay $60 for a game when you can't even play it? So, um, I figured I might as well show off this while I'm actually, I'm, whoops, I might as well uh, show you guys this while I am able to get into a game. So, one thing that I really want to point out right now, is, well, I'm going to say this, I don't like this game, I guess, the, the multiplayer. It's kind of like, you know, if you guys ever got Metal of Honor, like the day it came out, for the first, like, two days, that game was just amazing. And then everybody heard about it, they're like, oh, that's a good game, let's go buy it. And they all buy it, and they're all from Call of Duty, and then boom, all you see is snipers, and submachine guns and it's just spawn kill that with this game it's a lot of sniping it's not so much submachine guns but the snipers it's just like they think that because because in this game there's two snipers there's the um, M110 which is like I guess a futuristic version of the M21 I don't, know, I don't really know I don't know much about the M110 and then there's the other one I can't quite think of the what model it is, but it's uh, it's the intervention, or at least it looks very similar to it. I'm not a big guy on snipers; I don't don't focus on that. But they think because the M110, it's a semi-automatic, and, and there's no firing limit to it. That they they're cool because when they see you, they squeeze the trigger as fast as humanly possible, and they kill you, and it's a two-shot gun. So they seem to think that that's some kind of cool technique or something real cool about that. So. And actually, I thought about speeding this part up because I don't get another kill for after I kill this guy right here for a little while. But you know, it's whatever. I mean, snipers can be pussies. I'll still have my balls and I'll run around with assault rifles all the time. So, same thing with Battlefield. And a lot of people from Call of Duty they think they seem to think that you know every game is the same and that running around, drop shotting, and Halo jumping because they came from Halo or something dumb like that they seem to think that that's cool and that's what's expected in these games no what's expected in these games is that you have a dick and you go and um capture these objectives which are a b c and um sometimes it's only a and b it depends on the map but well you know it's just i don't understand what the big trend is here of not attacking the objective it's like it almost seems like the losing team is like now considered the winners nowadays just because you know they lost it's like the new trend because, I don't know about you guys, but I get tired of getting stuck on stuck on teams where nobody's going for the objectives and you're the only one being a team player. And instead of going around getting kill streaks, you're running up and capturing the objective at the last moment before they start capturing it. Or they're all capturing it and you go in there and you kill them all, but you end up dying in the process. And you get, But at least you stop them from capturing it, you know. I'm that kind of player. And half the people you ever meet on Xbox Live anymore are from Call of Duty. And you go, of course, those people don't. I guess, they don't, I don't know, they just, they don't, they don't think the way that normal people do, I guess. But, another problem with this game, I'm going to start, stop bagging on Call of Duty, because I know that's not fair to everybody, because I know a few friends who play Call of Duty, and they don't, they don't play, well, there is a couple, actually, I take that back, there's maybe like one or two people who play Call of Duty, and they are objective players, and it's like me and Major the Hunter, 
Barry does attack, or it's maniacal is what his new, na his new name is. He's not an objective player at all. Same thing with it's cracked, so. But, um. <sighs> shit. Oh, I guess I'm going to talk about the guns. That's probably the best thing to start off with while you guys are seeing me being all pussy and hiding back here. Because, and the reason why I was hiding and not, not being an objective player of this game, I know it's kind of a, it's kind of being a hypocrite there. Is in this game, kill streaks is what unlocks your camos. In fact, this camo I have on, I don't remember what the name of it is, but it's like fractured or something like that. It's actually, you know, none of you guys can get it unless you bought it the day it came out at Best Buy. That it, it was a one day only offer, and I figured camos were cooler than a shotgun, which kind of wish I had gotten both, <laughs> but you know, it's whatever. I might find a way sometime in the future to purchase the shotgun, like maybe buy the card off of eBay or something for like 10 bucks. I don't know. I don't really, I'm not, it's, not my, it's not my concern right now, just because I don't play this game a lot anymore. This is like the first time I've actually been able to play it in like the last couple of days, just because of, like I said earlier, the server problems. But, um, the guns in this game, when you, when you fire your gun without a suppressor or a silencer, you show up as this huge red square, I mean, like huge, it's nothing like, it's nothing like the little red dot on Call of Duty where it's like... I don't know. In this game, it's like people depend on that map. So you almost have to use a silencer to um, keep kills. And for me, I'm fine using silent with. I'm fine using a silencer just because I'm good with the iron sights. But a lot of people run into problems where they they don't they can't use the iron sights. So they're either using a silencer, nobody can see them, but they can't hit anybody worth a shit. And they run out of ammo or something, or they use like the holographic or the hollow scope as they call them in this game, or the red dot and and um, they can't keep alive because everybody knows where they're at because people in this game are they're map whores, I guess. So I guess I kind of have an advantage there just because I'm more able to do some of these things that people can't, like use the iron sights, for example. And um, and actually, this gun is pretty powerful, so that helps me a lot too. But I don't know this the the accuracy on these guns. It's nice, and it's pretty realistic, because, you know, not every bullet's going to hit somebody. But when you're aiming at somebody, and, like, they start strafing, and obviously they're going to hit fire, because if I, if I can't hit them, how the hell are they going to be able to hit me, you know? But if, like, you're aiming down the sight, and somebody's strafing, you lost. You, you absolutely, under every circumstance, lose that battle. I don't know why, but for some reason, this game, when you're aiming down the sight, and somebody shoots you, your guy slows down tremendously. In fact, maybe I'll... Maybe I'll record a gameplay soon, sometime soon, and I'll get to show you guys that as an example. But same thing with the scar. The scar in this game, for I don't even know why, but for some reason it's a uh, burst fire weapon. And when you shoot somebody, you can get one burst into them, and then if they shoot you in between bursts, you can't fire your next burst. I don't know if it's a glitch, if it's some kind of a, a failsafe, maybe, that they put in the game just to piss people off. Maybe they... Maybe they messed up with the programming, and that's just, like I said, it's a, maybe it's a glitch. I don't know, but what I do know is it's extremely annoying because that's a, that, that assault rifle is damn near useless now because what's the point of even using a gun when you can't shoot somebody with it? It's like, you might as well be take, carrying a rock around with you because at least the rock, if you hit somebody hard enough, it'll kill them, you know? I don't know if you're going to launch a fucking assault rifle, but you get my idea, you know? There's just no point to using it. So that's already, like, one last gun. And this game lacks a lot in guns. There's... Oh, I gotta think. I think there's six assault rifles, two submachine guns, uh, two LMGs, two snipers, and a shotgun, I think, are all your weapons. That will... And you have an M9. I think the M9 is... I don't know how many pistols there are, but if you see those little explosions you see, that those are EMPs. Notice how many times I've just been emp and now think about this, guys. Does it make sense to you that an EMP would disable your engine but nothing else? And that's exactly what this game does. See, I can still turn my turret, I can still fire my cannon, but I can't move. It doesn't make any sense. You know, if, if anything, the EMP would disable your cannon and everything that's, hyd well, not hydraulic, but it would disable everything that's electronic. That's what an EMP does. So, yeah, it might kill my engine depending on what type of engine it is and what it's using to power it, like maybe if the solenoid got put out, but then that, that's, 
I don't know if tanks the Abrams uses a fucking solenoid. It's a big ass engine and it takes J5 jet fuel. So Yeah, 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 yeah. And if you I don't know if you if you want your eyes can go back in the bottom left hand corner of the screen next to my map, the bottom okay, if you look down the bottom left of my screen, you see my mini map. To the bottom right of my mini map you see um, where people like get shot and whatnot. So if you wanna go back to where I got blown up by that thing, it'll show you a frag grenade is what blew me up. Not a rocket, not an anti tank mine, not a not a pack of C4, no, 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 no. It was a frag grenade. Now, if you guys don't know what a frag grenade is, it explodes into a bunch of little shards and that's why they're called frag, because fragmentation is little shards of metal. And that's exactly what a frag grenade does. It detonates and uh, launches out a whole bunch of metal. But, yeah. Um, this game, actually, it does have perks, but they're not, like, stopping power and stuff. They're, like, faster reloads, faster aim down the sight, um, be able to pick up ammo, being able to last longer in your drones, being able to have slightly more armor on your drones, some, some stuff like that. And speaking of drones, that's another reason why I don't like this game, is because there's this little drone called the Parrot, and that parrot is what it does is it flies up and when you get close enough to somebody like you can't be super high above the map because that just wouldn't even be fair at all and more, or more unfair than it already is and you can mark people and you get like 50 points per mark which is like I don't even know it's like quite a bit of that's like half as much as a kill but you can sit there and mark people right after spawn and just sit there and mark them and mark them and mark them and it takes entire clips from guns to kill these damn things. And you have to imagine, they're about the size from, they're about a foot, a foot in like length from end to end. Either which way, because they're about square, they just have a little, oh, what do you want to call it, whatever. Um, rotors, I guess, to keep it airborne. And I don't know, it's because they're just, they're super cheap in this game. They should be as much as a white phosphorus because... That's a little airstrike you can call in, which is actually what I'm about to call in right now. So you can see my sniper rifle. This is a, that was the M110. Now look at the little red triangles on my screen. This is this, now that's a white phosphorus, a powdered gas that just blew over these guys and they didn't die. So I don't know. Big flaw with this game. So all in all, no, I wouldn't recommend getting this game. Uh, but thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I really hope this helped you guys make your decision.